Tu as pris guetter la télévision avec ton papa hmm? I know that a lot of people out there don't agree with uh, what I do. I hunt, you know. A lot of people don't agree with that. But one thing I can tell you is that this is my culture. And this is my life, you know. It's my way of life, my culture. And regardless of what people may think, and they're all entitled to their own opinions and their culture and their ways of life. But this is something my ancestors have done for a long time. And I'm continuing it because it makes me feel good. It's a very spiritual feeling to get out into the woods, especially as a human, an American human who can't help that he was born in Western society. And, you know, we have all the commodities and things that we have in life. But to be able to recenter yourself and get out in nature, it's peaceful and quiet out here. You know, nature is my friend, and nature is a real friend of mine. She'll never lie to me, she'll never betray me or backstab me. When you're out here in nature, what you see and what you experience is what you get. Now, see, this is some beautiful terrain here that I'm hunting. A lot of ridges, it's very hilly. I've seen a shitload of deer today, um, but I'm not necessarily hunting right now, even though I do have my bow and my arrows. I'm just kind of uh, creeping through the woods, really feeling it. It's beautiful. Uh, they got um, a lot of deer, and they ain't really going nowhere. Uh, I'm just coming through here to pick some spots to see like where they may have some droppings, you know, like deer shit and, um, you know, scrapes, game trails, so that whenever I come back to do my hunt for the afternoon and the evening, I know where I want to be because I already know their patterns. I pass through these spots on the later part of the day and in the evening. This is just all for me. It's beautiful. God created this. It's for all of us. But right now I'm talking about me. Hey, this is your boy Wild Watson. I'm out here in the woods. Uh, just doing a little hiking and scouting right now. I got my recurve bow. I got a quiver full of arrows. And um, I'm out here. I got groundhogs. Uh, occasionally black bear. A lot of white-tailed deer, um, a lot of squirrel, different things like that. And these are all uh, animals that uh, I wouldn't mind stacking up on the meat. So now I might not necessarily get anything, but uh, I'm just enjoying myself out here in these woods, in the Catskill Mountains. This is in New York where I am. Uh, it's uh, a lot of terrain to cover, so I'm about to get back and keep on moving on these trails. Wild Watson Outdoors. I'm using traditional, uh, just a good old Samic Sage recurve. 
my little bald heads here. Nothing special. I got them off of uh, Amazon. Y'all, I'm watching this doe. I shot her. She was up here, about 30 yards up that ridge. All you know, them trees up there, way up there. You see? That's why I shot her. And now she's down there. She's laying down. I shot her a little too far back, so it might take her a while to die, but I'm watching her. I can see her nodding away, so she's definitely on her way to transpire. Then I'm gonna ease my way down in about an hour of sitting here, and I'm gonna go and collect my meat. Traditional kill. From the looks of things, I hit her in the lungs. Yeah, I hit her back, but the angle that I got her, even though it was far back, it went into her lungs, it's obvious. Maybe a liver shot, but that's my first harvest this year. tender and um, puffy it's still full of uh, contrary to what most people think about their meat and let me tell you mm -mm -mm, there is a heaven up above this is so good y'all this is one of my favorite parts of most animals that I kill this is the heart of that dough I got the other day it's a very uh, important thing and I just so happen to be part Native American descent and uh, Native American, uh, we believe the animals you kill, you eat some of their heart and their liver. Well, um, in honor of this deer, I'm going to eat some of his heart and possibly get some of the, the deer's uh, spiritual strength and powers and this connection that it has with nature and the connection that my ancestors had. And by eating his heart in honor of this deer, you get many nutritional facts, you know, behind eating heart too, like uh, iron and things like that. But this is a very sacred part of the animal's body. Really good eating right here. Rich meat. Mm. It's like the engine of the deer's body. Mm -mm -mm. That heart. Really, really good. So never let that go to waste for those of y'all never had deer heart next time you kill one. <laughs> 